Hey everybody, welcome back to Veteran Bashing. Today we're going to be talking about the Ned Red. We're going to stay close to what the weather is right now, so let's go and we'll talk about it for the beginners. So, <laughs> y'all know I got to get the YouTube stuff out of the way first, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell, and comment on anything else you would like to see or learn from me during this time while I'm down and can't fish or hunt or do nothing for y'all. Right? Cool. So, the net rig. Very, very simple, but at the same time, very deadly. Now, everything that I've talked about so far, it was mostly power fishing. But see, we're in the wintertime right now, so we're going to bring it down. Well, although you can still power fish, which we'll talk about that in another video, but you can actually slow down, light tackle, and finesse these fish out of the water. And that's where one of the deadliest baits come in mind, the net rig. Now, the net rig don't really look like much. It don't. They don't look like nothing at all. And while I'm talking to you, I'm getting a hook out so I can show you this. It don't look like nothing at all. As a matter of fact, the net rig is basically the mini me of, where's that? Oh, the Cinco, to be honest with you. I mean, that's what it is. So, the net rig, what is it? Some type of mushroom head, all right? And, let me get one of these out. And, your worm. Now, if that doesn't look like, let me get the camera to focus in on it a little bit. Uh, okay, there. If that doesn't look like a small, very small Cinco, then I don't know what it is because basically that's what it is. Same material, same everything. Okay. Only difference is, well, you actually could fish this uh, Texas rig, but, um, and some people do on a drop shot, but we'll talk about that at another time. Um, but here we go. Net rig, you have your mushroom head, and it's got a little hook keeper. I mean, a little keeper on the back of it. Uh, I ain't, you're not in focus. There. Uh, my hand is the wrong color for it, but there's a little keeper right there. Uh, you can see it, but it's blurry. So, I don't know why this bit is so, well, this hook is jiggly. But in any case, you run it on, you kind of, Go through, right? Just like you're starting out on a Texas rig, and you punch through and run it all the way up. That's a cool thing about Z-Man Elastic. If you don't like it, you can actually bring this back off the bait without messing up bait you can actually bring it back redo it without messing up the bait there we go that's a whole lot better and this is a net rig setup now um a quick tip if you're going to be using z-man elastic what you want to do is put you a dab of super glue right here on the head pull it up last almost forever um because elastic is pretty much um material it don't like to stay on the hook like talking about it so just put your dab of uh, super glue on here and uh you'll be good to go now unlike the texas rig you have an exposed hook so you're not going to be able to fish this in places like the texas rig so where can you fish this mostly open water situations you know what i'm saying long points ditches pockets um humps those kind of places which i gotta go for all of that too remember this is a beginner's guide um rod reel 
line. Unlike the things that I've talked about so far, which is more power fishing, you're going to want to downsize your line dramatically. And this is going to be one of the times that I use a braid to leader um, with this technique. Ooh, excuse me. So, you want, again, oh, also, you're not going to be using a bait caster. You're going to be using spin. Matter of fact, <laughs> got one tied on as we speak. Okay. This is the Guggen Squad Rattling Net. That's, that's this right here. I will mostly use this, and I'm kind of glad that I got this. I, 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 PTSD makes you forget some things. On clear water days, like here in the winter, you know, and the water's clear, I use the uh, Z-Man in this more natural color. I just grabbed this pack, but more natural colors. It's more quiet. You know, it's more clear. The fish can see it easier. When the water's stained or it's a cloudy day, I use the rattling net. See if you can hear it. Rattling net. That helps the fish to locate this a whole lot better. But in any case, oh. Now, this is eight pound test fluorocarbon. And I have that going to a 10 pound test, um, eight pound test fluorocarbon to a 10 pound test uh, main line. And that would be my braid, 10 pound, 10 pound braid. You tie that on as a connection knot early in my videos on how to connect it. It's called the uh, uni to uni knot. You know what I'm saying? You can watch that, learn how to do that. So, but you have a 10 pound braid to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader and you tie that, that on and I like to use the Palomar knot. Love it. Hasn't failed me yet. Learn it. Um, Again, where to fish this? Points, pockets, well pretty much anywhere as long as you don't have any shrubs, brush. You cannot fish this in any kind of structure because of the exposed hooks. You will get hung up and it'll be a nightmare for you. How do you fish it? You can fish this, actually, you can swim it. Surprisingly, you can. They go unglued for it. But most of the time, you're going to do a very, very methodical, slow drag. That's what you're gonna be doing. Can you hop it? Yes, you can. Sometimes the um, bass want it that way. But nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a slow, methodical drag. The fish are lethargic this time of year, unless you're in the state of Georgia, like I am, and it was 80 degrees, you know what I'm saying, outside today. Who knows, in December, 80 degrees in Georgia. Where else do you hear that? But in any case, <laughs> um, the hook set. The hook set is not like your traditional uh, Texas rig or jig or whatsoever. Or, well, most of your finesse techniques you're not going to reel down and really set the hook on them you're just going to lean and give it that little pressure that's all you're going to do you let the hook and the fish take care of the rest you understand so with that being said i think that is it on the net rig yeah thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for any new content. I love you out there. I know I've been saying we, like, you know what I'm saying, everybody else, but I love you out there. One.